Hi guys, Super GT here. So welcome to my Project Cars 2 wheels setting video. So I've done one on the controller. And finally, after about four days of tweaking and testing, I finally got some good settings for my Thrustmaster TX. So hopefully this will work on other wheels. So if you have a Logitech or Fanatec or any other wheel, hopefully these settings will work for you as well. So there's the wheel I'm using, although I have a different rim on at the moment. Uh, configuration then. Steering gear zone zero, I'll go through them quickly. Steering sensitivity 70, throttle dead zone zero, sensitivity 25, brake dead zone zero, sensitivity 25, clutch dead zone zero, sensitivity 100, and then some of the important ones here, speed, ses uh, speed sensitivity 10, damper saturation zero, that's a very important one. Um, controller damping, controller vibration, they don't matter because we're on a wheel, but I'll put them at 150. Uh, minimum shift time I left at zero, and then yes for that other option there. So over to the force feedback. I've been playing on raw, gain 100, volume 60, tone 45, FX 65, menu spring strength. I think that's just to do with how the wheel feels while you're in the menus. I don't think that matters at all, so just put that to whatever, it doesn't really make a difference. So those are the settings I've been using and I can actually control the car and I can actually correct oversteer. Um, the game isn't perfect, it's absolutely not perfect. It's probably a, a bit off on the console compared to the PC, but at least it's definitely drivable and it is fun, it's still good fun. So the main, the main settings for me are sensitivity here. I'll put it up a bit because I felt the steering wheel simply wasn't turning enough. The one you really want to change is damper saturation. That one, if I had it anything above 10, it was it just felt awful when I just couldn't correct anything. So I'd have oversteer, I'd correct it, and the car would just start fishtailing violently. So zero for that. Uh, just put that straight to zero. That's the main one for me. Uh, speed sensitivity, I'll put down to, to 10. I, you don't want that to be very high. On the controller, actually, that one was very high. But on a wheel, it turns out, Probably better having that on low. So force feedback, I tried informative as well. I think I don't think that immersive was that great. In informative is good as well, but I think raw happened to be the best one for me. I just put the strength all the way up to 100. The only issue really I get sometimes in very very fast cars like the Formula X car going down the straight, it was very strong, very very strong indeed. But for most cars, most of the time like GT cars, whatever, it feels absolutely fine. So those are the settings. Hopefully, if you're having trouble, which many people are, hopefully they work. This is on Xbox One. Maybe if you're on PC, you can get custom force feedback settings. There's there's a better or wider range of settings you can use on the PC. And it t tends to feel better on the PC anyway. Those are the settings. Hopefully they work on PS4 as well. So perhaps I should have mentioned this in the last video that I did with the controller, but typically I'm just using the authentic assist, which I think is just the most realistic setting to go with. So it basically just matches whatever the assist would be in real life for that car, whichever car you're using, it will just use those assists in the game. So I'm going to be doing a quick race here in the Ferrari F40 uh, race car around Sugo in Japan. So let's give it a quick go. So let's get this race underway. It's not a track I'm totally familiar with. A little bit slow off the line. I'm going to try and somewhat learn this track as we go along. We've got 20 cars on the track. So I'm trying to go down the middle of these guys. The AI is normally really bad on lap one. I'll go around the outside. They go really slowly or they just go way too quick and bundle each other off. Up the inside there, a bit of side on side contact. Maybe up the inside of this guy as well. And that one. Oh, he's going so slow. He's turned into a car park. It's actually going over the grass there, through the chicane. I ought to be using the stick here. Up into 14th place. Oh, he's gone in way too hot there. I'm going to get a good, uh, good run onto the back straight. It's the longest straight on the track. Car goes into that corner nicely. A 
little bit. Squirreling on the entry to that turn. Oh, and that one. <laughs> but you see there, I'm making mistakes, but I'm able to correct it. So it's not completely fatal if you get a bit of oversteer. Which on the custom settings it is. Or sorry, not custom settings, the default settings. I'll just As soon as I made a mistake on the default, I would just pretty much confirm death. Oh, that's a little bit late today. I'm going to go wide. Is he going to get me back? He's on my right hand side, I think. Got the inside for this one. And I'm going to find him tucking ahead. Oh, I'm just going to spin that guy around. That's the problem with the AI. <laughs> they just they go so slow at some points, and it can be very hard to judge exactly what the hell they're doing. But oh well. It's only AI. It's not a real victim. And again, that slipstream. Move over to the right hand side. Down two gears. A little bit, a little bit deep, but we've managed to get around the corner okay. Up behind the Nissan now. I really do like this class of cars. Ferrari F40, of course, a legendary car. Is that guy on my right hand side? Oh, left hand side. He wasn't, luckily, as I moved out to the left there. Down the main straight, eighth position. Oh, almost into the back of him. Need to improve my consistency on that brake pedal. But luckily so far, I haven't really done to anything too bad. Up the inside, it's a good move. Up behind another F40 now. There is so quick for that chicane. Oh, up and two wheels. Oh my god. Onto the back straight. You can see there the AI take a horrible line. I've got itchy nose syndrome once again. It's a drag race between two Ferraris. Oh, I definitely brake too late. Just kept it on. He's going to get back. He's on my right hand side. I'm going to go for it. Up the inside, over the curb. Taking the position. Lap three of five. I'm up into sixth place. This is on 95 AI, AI difficulty. Could perhaps crank that up to over 100 for the next one. If you have any suggestions for races you'd like to see, then do let me know. Oh, once again, it's way too late into turn one. I'm over revving the hell out of this car. Ah, he just cut me off on the exit there. He's going to be quick through the chicane. If I can just get close through this corner, then I know I have a chance because they're, they're, they're really bad for the next turn. And there they are. Just getting the run once again. Can't quite see my mirror, so I don't know exactly where he is. On the map, though, I think he's behind. Again, a little bit deep. Definitely just need to work on my braking consistency. But still moving up the field nicely. Going very slowly for this corner. And they're going to go very wide here so I can drive up the inside into the final turn. Up behind another F40. Coming up to the final lap in fourth place. Two seconds off the leader. So a little bit better on the brakes that time. Looking for that inside line. It's not going to develop. On the exit though, Ferrari takes a poor run. I've gone a little bit deep on the brakes once again. 
Looks like the F40 perhaps is the quickest car in this class. F40s are the top four actually now. So luckily no major frame rate drops at the moment. When I've done 32 car races, it's just gone so slow, as if you're going like two miles an hour the whole time. And again, I definitely need to have a lot more practice. I'm kind of new to the wheel. I don't use it a lot. So if you're criticising me, I don't blame you, because I know that I need work. My race is outside, probably not the best place to be. I'll try and run it around the outside, I've done it. Can I go for the lead of the final corner? It's not going to happen. The other F40 here is just going to take the win. Just cross the line, finish second. So there you go, guys. That's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. So I hope that these settings do work for you. Do let me know if they do. And um, again, if you're having any trouble, then do post in the comments. Hopefully, we can all help each other out in the comments down below. So if you see anyone that needs some help, uh, try and get some answers in for them and I'll try to help out as well as much as I can um, maybe a reminder I do have a discord uh, server so if you'd like to join that that's also in the description so if you want to join plenty more chat on there I mean it's a really it's probably the best way to keep in contact with me if you want to ask me anything or talk, to, talk about anything really on the discord so that's the end of the video thank you for watching I hope you find it useful subscribe if you'd like to see more hit the like button if you found it useful and enjoyed it We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.